Full text free, Song Mian Mian likes to mention and leave the book as soon as she wears it. In order to avoid repeating the plot, she immediately hugged the male lead's thigh. Swear by heaven, never part ways with death. Xia Yuan. He he. But later on, Lord Shofu. My wife is timid and even afraid of thunder. How could she possibly hit you? It must be you hitting the porcelain. Lord Shofu. My wife is kind and even chickens dare not kill. How could she possibly wield a knife and strike people? It must be your slander. Lord Shofu. My wife everyone was speechless. Sir, your wife is capable of making money and becoming the richest person, while her martial arts skills are capable of fighting in the western region. Do you have any misunderstandings about being timid? Mr. Shofu. He grabbed a small thing he wanted to escape into his arms with a backhand and said, Madam, you said it yourself, you won't leave even in death. Keywords of the novel. After wearing a book, I became the heart-shaped pet of the first assistant without a pop-up window. After wearing a book, I became the heart-shaped pet of the first assistant. Download the complete text. After wearing a book, I became the heart-shaped pet of the first assistant. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Entering a book. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. Entering a book hmm, it hurts. As soon as Song Mianmian's consciousness was awakened, she sensed a continuous pain, as if her neck was being held tightly by someone. Even if it was just breathing for survival, there would be severe pain. At first glance, you can see the dilapidated thatched roof and wooden houses, which look unfamiliar and desolate. Where is this? Before she could understand the situation, she heard voices outside the door saying, What a sin! That's five tails of silver. Since she entered the door, our family hasn't had a peaceful day. What sin did our Lao Xie family do? Mother, followed by a cold voice with just one word, the woman's voice softened slightly, but she still couldn't accept it. Ayuan, I'm sorry for you. I showed you such a daughter. In law. As he spoke, he seemed to be sobbing, you're so young that you're going to become a widower. Ayuan. Xie's family. When these two words were combined, she had a very bad idea that seemed to be the male lead of the novel she stayed up late chasing last night just call this name. Before she could think much, Xia Yuan's voice rang out again, Mom, it's okay. I'll take the medicine first. Yuan. The woman chased after her, why not forget it, let's send her back to the Song family. That five tails of silver, my mother will feed the dog. You write a letter of divorce, in that case. The sound came to a sudden halt. Crunching, the sound of pushing the door came. Song Mianmian struggled to move her gaze and looked towards the source of the sound. A man stood against the light by the door, and it wasn't until he approached that she could see clearly. Sword eyebrows and starry eyes, eyes like cold stars, with an indifferent expression. Although wearing only a simple blue long shirt, he still exudes a majestic demeanor, resembling a scholar. Song Mianmian was stunned for a moment. This appearance is indeed very male protagonist. Bang! Xia Yuan walked over and placed the bowl on the cabinet next to the bed, making a crisp sound. Song Mianmian was startled for a moment, and then he could see the man's cold and indifferent eyes clearly. He seemed to have a hint of disgust in his eyes. Take medicine when you wake up. He finished speaking coldly and saw that Song Mianmian had no reaction. He couldn't help but sneer, it's not poison. Song Mianmian swallowed her saliva with some difficulty, and this action made her face show pain. She propped her hands back and sat up very slowly, her voice hoarse, subconsciously saying, Thank you. Xia Yuan paused as he was about to turn around. Excuse me, where is this? Song Mianmian cautiously asked unwilling to believe that there is such a bizarre thing as wearing books in the world. Xia Yuan's lips curved sarcastically, you don't have to play these tricks anymore, Song Mianmian. I know what you want, 
as long as you don't mess with my family anymore, I promise you. After speaking, he took big steps and walked out. Wait a minute. Song Nianian instinctively raised her voice, which made her throat ache like a knife saw. She covered her neck and couldn't help but cough, cough cough cough, cough cough cough. It seems like even the lungs are about to cough out. Xia Yuan stopped and turned to look at her, waiting for her to speak. Song Nianian finally stopped coughing and breathed a sigh of relief. Can you tell me? Xia Yuan. His first reaction was that this person was acting like a demon again, but as soon as he raised his eyes, he met Song Nianian's clear eyes, as if he could see the bottom at a glance, with only a simple doubt in his eyes. He pursed his lips, feeling inexplicably agitated in his heart. What is this place? What is our relationship? Song Nianian's speech is extremely unpleasant, but this information is crucial. She must get confirmation, my throat hurts so much. Xie Yuan finally answered a question and looked at Song Nianian sarcastically, didn't you expect it to hurt when you hung yourself? Up, up hang. Song Nianian widened her eyes in astonishment, and she raised her hand in disbelief, pointing to her nose. Me. Xie Yuan looked at her with a silly expression, as if saying. Is there anyone else here? Song Nianian's heart kept sinking, whether it was the name or the plot, they all matched the situation in that book. Xia Yuan had already sneered and turned to walk outside. Song Nianian reacted and quickly called out to him, Hey, big brother, big brother. Ku Xia Yuan's footsteps did not stop, walking very fast. Song Nianian struggled to turn her neck and looked left and right. The shabby and rudimentary cottage was relatively clean, and the half-open window revealed the scenery outside at a glance although the sky is dark, the moonlight is bright, and one can still see endless mountains one after another. Song Nianian wanted to cry without tears, she wanted to go home. The sound of footsteps came from the door again, and it was still Xia Yuan who came. He threw a piece of paper onto Song Nianian's blanket and said, What you want? What is it? Song Nianian picked up the paper in front of her and saw three big characters. He Li Xu. Xia Yuan, Song Nianian, and Li Song Nianian immediately threw it away as if encountering a plague. Xia Yuan furrowed his brows slightly. This woman hanging her neck won't ruin her brain, will she? In the past, her performance was poor, but today he finds it difficult to distinguish between true and false. She swallowed hard and said, So this is Qingshan village. Your name is Xia Yuan, you are a scholar, and your family is second in line. Xia Yuan. It seems you're not foolish. It's crazy. Song Nianian's heart sank, it's over. She really wore a book, and dressed up as Song Nianian, who had the same name and surname as her in the book, a cannon fodder ex-wife who insisted on eloping with the male lead and someone else, and ended up with a tragic ending. And separation is the beginning of all tragedies. I don't want to leave. She shouted like a conditioned reflex, followed by a severe cough that was harsh and uncomfortable to listen to. Xia Yuan stopped walking outside for the third time, turned his head to look at Song Mianmian, frowned slightly, and said, What are you really going to do? He used to cry, make trouble, and hang himself. The turbulent Xie family never had a peaceful day. Now he finally convinced his mother to let go. Does this woman still want to be a demon? His eyes were filled with disgust. Song Mianmian, don't think that I just don't know what's going on with you. You obediently took the Healy book and left the Xie family. I just assumed that nothing had happened. If you still want to make trouble, then. I won't make a fuss, Song Mianmian said hastily. Thank you, husband. I know I was wrong. It used to be my fault, but I will definitely live with you well in the future. I don't want to leave, can we not leave? Song Mianmian's mind turned extremely fast and continued, Husband, I used to want you to pay attention to me, but I am too stupid. I am always the dumbest way, but every time you can say a few more words to me, husband, I am very happy. 
I thought it was useful like that, husband. I'm sorry, I really know I was wrong. I won't make trouble again in the future. I've died once this time, and I really understand. At first, Song Mian Mian pretended to cry, but as she spoke, thinking of her current isolated and helpless situation, she couldn't help but feel sad and shed tears. Wu Wu, Xia Yuan, don't stop me. I only know you. Xia Yuan. He has a headache in his head. Newcomers and new books, seeking more support requesting recommendation tickets and comments, end of this chapter. Chapter 2. Never Leave. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Never Leave She Doesn't Want to Leave Even If She Dies. The original owner, that fool, left such a handsome man behind and was tricked by the village ruffians into eloping with him. After the two of them ran out of money, the scoundrel used the original owner's body to earn gambling capital and was very carefree for a while. Later, the original owner wanted to run, but he had no registered residence and identity, so even if he ran, he would have nowhere to go. When the male protagonist was the top scorer in high school, the original protagonist was infected with leprosy and abandoned by a scoundrel, lying in a dilapidated cottage listening to the news of the male protagonist returning home in glory. I swallowed my breath reluctantly. The original owner had committed too many sins in the early stage, and even took all the silver money of the Xia family with him when eloping with others, including Xia Yuan's expenses for taking exams in the capital. He quietly cut off Xia Yuan's only good clothes and reported Xia Yuan and other evil deeds to the government office, which were like cutting off his life path. Later on, when the original owner was punished, it looked very refreshing, but Song Mianmian was so relieved when she read this section before, and now she is so anxious. Without waiting for Xia Yuan to react, she pounced and hugged his thigh tightly, clinging to him in a very rogue manner. Husband, I won't be separated from you even if I die. The tone is resolute and unwavering. What kind of tradition is it? When did Xia Yuan encounter such a thing? He tried to shake off Song Mianmian with a dark face, but was unable to succeed for a while. Even though he is a scholar, he is not indifferent to every aspect of life, which shows how much strength Song Mianmian has put in. Let go. He gritted his teeth a bit. Song Mianmian, this woman is really, really, I don't want it. Song Mianmian quickly refused, shook her little head, and used all her strength to hug him. Unless you thank me, husband, you promise me not to part ways with me. Xia Yuan. Ha. He sneered, but with a lowered gaze, he could see a hint of sincerity from her pear blossom like little face. He was stunned for a moment. Let go, said again. Husband. Shut up. Xia Yuan's face turned black, thinking he didn't know what Song Mianmian was doing. He was almost able to graze on his head, and this woman still had the face of a husband in this mouth. His temples bulged as he listened. Still making a fuss. Okay. He bent down to pick up the Healy book from the ground and shook it in front of her. Since you don't want to be with Li, then you can stay, he said after speaking, he waited for Song Mianmian Mian to repent, which was something she had been begging for for a long time before. However, Song Mianmian Mian smiled happily and finally let go of him, saying, Husband, you're the best. I'll definitely live with you well. Xia Yuan. He remained expressionless and quickly left the room. The cold wind that came head dot on woke him up instantly. He wanted to solve Song Mianmian, Mian, but just now. What did he say? Xia Yuan stayed up all night without returning to his room. Although Song Mianmian Mian received a positive response, she had just arrived in a strange place and couldn't sleep. It was almost dawn before finally squinting for a while. As she was sleeping soundly, with a creak, the door was pushed open, and a cold, stern, and strongly disgusted voice sounded above her head, Song Mianmian. Mian. Ayuan has already told me, you pack up and go quickly. The Xia family has a daughter dot in dot law like Song Mianmian, Mian, who is unlucky to be blind. What? Song Mianmian Mian was lost in thought when she heard the word, roll. 
she suddenly woke up and flipped over to sit up. She saw the middle dot aged woman standing by the bed, paused, and greeted her in a hoarse and soft voice, Mom. Zhu Yuji. Oh, when Mrs. Xie hasn't called out, Mother, seriously for a year, now she's shouting out for freedom. I'm not your mother. She had a cold face and her burning eyes fixed on her. It's not yours, you're not allowed to take anything with you, she said today, her fiery eyes were fixed on Song Mianmian. Mom, I'm not leaving. Song Mianmian was completely awake. She got out of bed and grabbed Zhu Yuji's sleeve. Mother, I used to be obsessed and deceived, but now I understand. I want to live a good life with my husband and be filial to you. Zhu Yuji was stunned and didn't know what to say for a moment. What tricks are you playing? She reacted and looked at Song Mianmian with a guarded expression. Song Mianmian quickly shook her head, raised three fingers and placed them beside her ear. I swear to heaven, mother, I've also died this time. I've figured out a lot of things, she said, I don't ask you to believe me now, but the future is long. Please give me another chance. She looked at Zhu Yuji with scorching eyes, and even coquettishly pulled her sleeve. Mother, I was bought by you for five tails of silver. If I really leave like this, wouldn't you be at a loss? Ha ha. Zhu Yuji glanced sideways at Song Mianmian and said, You've been eating my family's food this year, just wear my family's clothes, and search for life every three to five days. Mother. Song Mianmian shook her arm again, taking advantage of her mother. In law's hardness in her mouth and softness in her heart, and taking the advantage of thick skin to the extreme. I used to be immature, so just trust me again, she said Zhu Yuji hesitated. Song Mianmian is not a person in front of her at this moment, it is the silver she has spent. If she really wants to let go, she really can't bear to part with it. I'm going to work now. Song Mianmian didn't give Zhu Yuji another chance to speak, and hurriedly went outside the door. At night, she also had something to say to Xie Yuan. As soon as Zhu Yuji goes out. I saw Song Mianmian picking up a broom and sweeping the yard. Don't say, it really looked like that. She hesitated for a moment, didn't say a word, and just watched Song Mianmian clean the yard cleanly. It's already afternoon, and the spring sun is not too strong. It makes her feel warm all over when it shines on her. She couldn't help but stretch her waist and take a deep breath, the fresh air. What are you doing there? Come here. Suddenly, Zhu Yuji's voice sounded, and Song Mianmian reacted quickly. She immediately ran over there and sweetly replied, Hey, Mom, I'm here. Just entered the kitchen. Zhu Yuji placed a bowl heavily on the wooden table and said, Hurry up and eat, there's not much left. Half of the bowl of brown rice porridge is in the bowl, and several grains of rice are clearly visible in the bowl. Thank you, mother. Song Mianmian thanked him before picking up the bowl and drinking it carefully. It was a bit hot, but with a refreshing fragrance. The only downside is that brown rice can be a bit sore. With something in his stomach, Song Mianmian's cold hands and feet seemed to warm up a little, and his strength was also full. Zhu Yuji frowned slightly when she saw that she had really drunk. If it were in the past, she might have smashed the kitchen a long time ago. Is it really necessary to make changes? The idea flashed by in a flash. Mom, is there anything else I need to do? Song Mianmian lowered the bowl and looked at Zhu Yuji with sparkling eyes. Just give me your orders, he said can you believe it? You go wash the clothes. Zhu Yuji gave orders with a stern face, but when she handed the wooden basin to Song Mianmian, she deliberately picked out good clothes, leaving only the few pieces she wore for work on the ground, most of which were still her own. Song Mianmian knew that she couldn't trust her, so she didn't get angry. She smiled brightly and said, I'll go right away. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Is Already Dead You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Is Already Dead Song Mianmian walked on the path holding a small wooden basin. 
Qingshan village was surrounded by mountains, and a small river passed through the village, which was the main source of water for everyone's daily life. As for domestic water, there are murmuring mountain springs in the surrounding mountains, and there are several wells built along the way in the village. There is no need to dig pits down, just surround them with stone slabs and cover them. In the afternoon, everyone in the village was busy farming, and Song Mianmian was the only one by the river. The river was clear to the bottom, and you could still see the fish and shrimp swimming inside. Song Mianmian found a good spot and started washing clothes. I'm busy right now. A slightly sleazy and greasy voice rang out from behind, Mian Mian, my dear, why does the despicable Xie family still ask you to wash clothes? Song Mian Mian. What the hell is that? Just listening to this sound, she felt unclean and contaminated. The person rushed straight towards Song Mian Mian. Although she didn't get up, she also saw a reflection from the clear river surface. She quickly sidestepped to avoid the salty pig hand that this person was reaching out for, pop it. Yang Wang plunged into the water, splashing with water. Song Mian Mian couldn't completely block it even when she raised her hand. The water wasn't too deep, but Yang Wang still splashed inside for a while before finally standing up straight and wiping away the water from his face. His face also darkened a bit, and his tone was a bit displeased. Mian Mian, what are you doing? Stop it. Song Mian Mian interrupted Yang Wang's words with a cold face, looking at him with disgust in his eyes. To be fair, Yang Wang's appearance is indeed good, otherwise the original owner would not have been deceived by him, and would rather give up Xie Yuan. Yang Wang was stunned for a moment, but he really stopped talking. His face was full of confusion and he said, Mian Mian, what's wrong? This attitude was not the case in the past. Did the devout old lady from the Xie family make you angry again? Wait, I'll go lift the roof of their house tonight to vent your anger. I've really wronged my beloved child. Don't be sad, brother loves you. As he spoke, he reached out his hand again, wanting to hold on to Song Mian Mian's hand to soothe him. Although his eyes had already flashed with impatience, it did not show much signs. Song Mian Mian is still hanging on to him. He hasn't been able to do anything good for so long, and his heart is itching. Thinking about this, a flicker of fire flashed in my eyes. Sooner or later, I will take care of her. Ah! As soon as the thought fell, Yang Wang couldn't help but scream in agony, but Song Mian Mian mercilessly picked up the wooden stick that hammered his clothes and smashed it hard into his hand. Song Mian Mian is crazy. Before, there was a young brother who used to feel heartbroken even if he broke his skin, but now how dare he treat him like this. Besides being unbelievable, he was also particularly angry. Before Yang Wang could react from the shock, Song Mian Mian looked disgusted and said, Let's let it go, you've trampled on the water. Yang Wang. He couldn't lift it in one breath. Mian Mian, what's wrong with you? How could Song Mian Mian, who he couldn't believe, feel like she had changed her personality? I know now, Mian Mian. Are you angry? It's my fault for not coming to see you these days, isn't it? It's my fault, I shouldn't neglect Mian Mian. But I've been busy with important things these days. He looked at Song Mian Mian with a sincere expression on his face, as if his eyes were full of deep affection. I rented a house in the county town, and I came to take you away this time. Come with me, Mian Mian. Let's go to the county town, to places where no one knows us, and live our lives. He had a hopeful expression on his face, without mentioning the snow, moon, and wind in the county town these past few days. In the future, I will definitely treat you well, love you and love you for the rest of my life. We will have two lovely children again, raise them and grow up, and we will gradually grow old. Yang Wan drew a big cake and carefully looked at Song Mian Mian's expression, trying to reach out his hand again. Bang! Another stick. You're lying to ghosts. Despite Yang Wan's quick recovery, his fingers were still hit several times in a row, 
causing a heart-wrenching pain in his hands and redness and swelling in his fingers. Song Mian Mian, are you crazy? How dare you hit me like this? Even he couldn't maintain his good temper at the moment and rushed toward Song Mian Mian, I gave you face, didn't I? You're so used to it. He is willing to hold Song Mian Mian, but that doesn't mean this woman can ride on his head. I really offended him and just slept with this woman right here. Will we still be honest and obedient in the future? Song Mian Mian hung him with her body, really thinking he couldn't see it. He's not serving anymore. Song Mian Mian, I'll let you know now what the happiest thing in the world is. He grinned grimly and extended his claws directly toward Song Mian Mian, just want to hold someone in your arms. Nausea. Song Mian Mian clenched the clothes pounding stick in her hand and mercilessly hit Yang Wang, using all her strength. Yang Wang was smashed hard, and Song Mian Mian hit him one stick after another, as if calculating, with each stick hitting him. Yang Wang cried for his father and called for his mother. Crazy, Song Mian Mian is really crazy. He never expected a woman who couldn't carry her shoulders or lift her hands to hit him so accurately and painfully. Pop it. Pop it. He took several steps back in a row and fell into the water, only then did Song Mian Mian finally stop moving. From afar, Yang Wang's head popped out of the water. He, who had just boasted of being promiscuous, was as embarrassed as he was now, his eyes filled with fear. Song Mian Mian looked at him coldly and said, Get out. If you dare to appear in front of me again in the future, I'll beat you up every time I see you. You, you. What are you? I. What am I? Song Mian Mian didn't give him a chance to speak at all, and protested by waving the wooden stick in his hand, get lost. What kind of thing? Yang Wang didn't even dare to come ashore from here, and suddenly swam a long distance to the side before leaving in a disheveled state. Song Mian Mian finally breathed a sigh. She witnessed Yang Wang leave, and as she withdrew her gaze, the corner of her eye swept over somewhere, causing her whole body to freeze. But I saw Xia Yuan standing under a tree by the river, with a complex expression on his face. I don't know how long he has been here. Pop. The clothes pounding stick in Song Mian Mian's hand fell in response and rolled back a few times on the stone. What should we do? How much did Xia Yuan see? Will there be no misunderstanding? The two of them looked at each other without saying a word. The chirping of insects came from the grass around, and stars and bright moon hung in the night sky. As the wind blew, Song Mian Mian shivered. It's a bit cold. Xia Yuan pursed his thin lips and walked over, calmly picking up the wooden basin and clothes pounding stick on the ground, then turned around and walked towards home. Song Mian Mian was stunned. Xia Yuan took a few steps, stopped, turned his eyes to look at her, frowned slightly, and said, follow up. Song Mian Mian just realized and immediately followed with a smile on her face. She couldn't help but tease Xia Yuan, husband, are you here to pick me up? It seems like nothing happened just now. Anyway, as long as she's not embarrassed, it's someone else who's embarrassed. Xia Yuan's voice was calm. I've thought too much, it was my mother who sent me here. He thought that Song Mian Mian had probably run away. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Won't Come Down You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Won't Come Down Xia Yuan never expected to see Song Mian Mian fight Yang Wang fiercely. That angry expression was like a little dog being provoked, revealing its feigned fierce fangs. Completely beyond his expectations, did she really know she had repented? This idea had just risen and was quickly let go by him. Song Mian Mian had nothing to do with him, as long as he didn't bother the Xia family anymore. As for the marriage, he had no expectations or expectations, and had already followed his mother's wishes. He was thinking about it when he heard Song Mian Mian's voice coming from behind, Thank you, husband. With a hint of coquettishness in her hoarse voice, Xia Yuan's footsteps paused before continuing steadily forward. 
Only in the darkness did his ears turn slightly red. Song Nianmian spoke while observing his reaction. I can't see anything clearly in the night. He even walked faster and faster, as if he couldn't avoid her. Song Nianmian also quickened her pace, but Tiangang was not used to walking, not to mention a light rain in the afternoon, which made the Tiangang a bit slippery. In her anxiety, she slipped on the soles of her feet and fell straight ahead, bang. Song Nianmian hit Xia Yuan on the back and their figures became indifferent. Suddenly, they both fell to the ground. Song, Mian, Mian. Xia Yuan was very angry, reciting her name word by word. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Song Nianmian quickly waved her hand to apologize, forgetting that she was still lying on Xia Yuan's body. Get up, Xia Yuan said with a black face Song Nianmian. Oh, oh, okay. She propped her hands on Xia Yuan's chest and stood up with help, which left Xia Yuan speechless. He has never seen such an unreasonable woman before. Xia Yuan stood up neatly and said in a deep voice, You go back first. After speaking, holding on to the clothes that had fallen on the ground, he turned around and headed towards the direction of the river. Song Nianyan hesitated for a moment, then turned around to follow, Xia Yuan, it's all my fault. I'll be with you. In a hurry, she forgot to act and called out the words Xia Yuan directly. Xia Yuan stopped again, but this time he kept enough distance from Song Nianyan, afraid of being implicated again. Go back, he said, but. I also need to wash my clothes, do you want to come with me? Song Nianyan turned around and walked towards the direction of the Xia family. There are not many households in the village who have the habit of lighting lights, and oil is expensive. When she returned to the Xia family, the whole family sat in the courtyard enjoying the cool breeze and chatting. The Xia family has a small population. Several decades ago, Xia Yuan's grandfather moved to Qingshan village with his family and gave birth to three sons. Song Nianmian's father. In. La Xia Kong was the youngest. After Grandpa Xie passed away, the three families split up. Xie Kong had three sons, his eldest son Xie Yingsheng, and his wife was Yang Lixia from the same village. The two of them had a girl named Xie Zhenzhen. This name was still taken by Xie Yuan. Second son Xie Yuan, mother Song Mianmian, has no offspring. The third son, Xie Pengpeng, is just eight years old and has a significant age difference from his first two brothers. These are all the family backgrounds of the male protagonist, and Song Nianmian is naturally familiar with them. The elder brother is simple and honest, while the sister dot in dot law, although somewhat shrewd, has a kind heart. Xia Yuan is intelligent and already a scholar. He is only waiting to participate in the provincial examination this autumn. If he passes, he will become a Jiren. Xia Pengpeng is clever and mischievous, but he is not a bad person either. Before she came over, Song Nianmian was the most noisy and lively one in this family. Therefore, upon seeing Song Nianmian enter the door, the once bustling courtyard instantly quieted down. Xia Zhenzhen, who was just over three years old and was talkative, also closed her mouth and instinctively hid behind Yang Lixia. The original owner believed that Xie Zhenzhen was a young girl who often bullied her. Yang Lixia looked at Song Nianmian with a guarded expression in her eyes. She got up and took Xie Zhenzhen back to the room, but Xie Yingsheng, who was only obedient to the mother's orders, immediately followed. Xie Pengpeng looked behind her and said, Where's my second brother? His eyes were full of displeasure and guard, of course, aimed at Song Nianmian. Song Nianmian felt a bit embarrassed. My husband is still behind, he asked me to come back first. Zhu Yuji's face suddenly darkened, thinking that Song Nianmian must have acted as another demon and offended Xie Yuan, before being driven back. Mother. Song Nianmian sweetly shouted, did I make a mistake? But I dare not disobey my husband. She felt a bit aggrieved when she said this. Zhu Yuji looked at her obedient appearance with a slightly serious expression and said, Let's go eat. 
The rice is in the pot for you. Thank you mother, thank you father. Song Mianmian didn't forget to greet Xie Kong and said, Have you all eaten? Have you eaten, husband? You also know how to care. Zhu Yuji's eyebrows and eyes relaxed, I've eaten them all. Mother. Xie Pengpeng looked at Song Mianmian suspiciously, feeling as if her whole body had changed. Did she fall for evil? Why is your attitude so good now? Nonsense. Zhu Yuji lightly patted Xie Pengpeng's head and said, maybe she really changed. Xie Pengpeng pursed his lips and said, Mom, don't be fooled by her. Can she change? A sow can grow on a tree. Hee <laughs> hee, it's not easy to know if she really changed it. I'll give it a try and I'll know. Xie Pengpeng's big eyes turned rapidly, full of cunning. Just as Zhu Yuji was about to speak, Xie Pengpeng had already turned around and returned to the room. The dishes of the Xie family are very simple, with two pancakes warming her in the pot, which tastes very rough. She struggled to swallow, but her stomach was still hungry, and Song Mianmian had no room for criticism. As she nibbled on the cake, she secretly made up her mind. She must work hard to earn money. Whether it's to avoid eating such cakes or to leave the Xie family in the future, money is essential. Song Mianmian was thinking when she suddenly noticed that there seemed to be movement in the nearby firewood pile. Subconsciously, she looked over and took advantage of the moonlight, ah. A loud scream pierced through the night sky. Ah, 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 ah. Song Mianmian screamed continuously and jumped onto the chair, her face pale with fear. It was pitiful to see that she was afraid of snakes, insects, mice, and ants. I have goosebumps all over my body. As soon as Xia Yuan entered the yard, he heard screams coming from the kitchen. He immediately put down the wooden basin and walked over quickly. As soon as he walked to the kitchen door, he felt something pounce directly on him. Subconsciously, he reached out to stop it, and the familiar and shallow fragrance wafted into his nose, confirming that it was Song Mianmian. Song Mianmian tightly hugged Xia Yuan's neck with both hands, legs hanging around his waist, and used all his strength, his body still trembling gently. Old, mouse, there are mice. Xia Yuan. What kind of ghost? He blackened his face and said, Come down. I don't. Song Mianmian shook her head hard and hugged him tighter. Next, come on. Xie Yuan intensified his tone and his face turned even darker. What kind of behavior is it to hug and embrace like this? Song Mianmian's chin rested on his shoulder, and a trembling voice sounded in his ear, You, if you walk a little further, I'll come down. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Apologizing to her you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Apologizing to her Xia Yuan has never been so speechless in his life, but Zhu Yuji and others also came to the yard because of Song Mianmian's shouting. Now, everyone looked shocked at this scene. Zhu Yuji quickly laughed, the relationship between these two is still good. Xia Yuan. He didn't even know where Song Mianmian came from with such great strength. He couldn't make it, so he had to walk towards the yard before saying, Come down. Song Mianmian let out a sigh and quickly jumped off Xie Yuan. Xie Yuan immediately took a few steps back, as if worried about her getting entangled again. Song Mianmian had no intention of overthinking, but looked at the kitchen and said, Yes, there are mice. Come out. Xie Yuan spoke out. Can you still talk to a mouse? Song Mianmian looked at him with a shocked expression on her face as she spoke, she hid away from the distance, worried that the mice would really come out. Xia Yuan Song Mianmian's mind is specified to have some issues. Xia Pengpeng He added, and a person slowly walked out of the path next to the kitchen, it was Xia Pengpeng. He lowered his head and felt extremely guilty, second brother. Apologized to Song Mianmian. Xia Pengpeng pouted and said, Second brother. Song Mianmian never apologized when she bullied him and Zhen before. 
he just wanted to scare her and show her true face. Compared to what Song Mian Mian did before, it's much better. What's wrong? Xie Yuan frowned, you don't even listen to what I said now. At this moment, Zhu Yuji and others remained silent. Xie Yuan was very dignified at home, especially when scolding the younger generation. She felt sorry and could only watch, as this had already been agreed upon. No, no need, Song Mian Mian quickly spoke up. That used to be my fault. I know I did a lot of wrong things, but I won't do it again in the future. After speaking, she looked at Xie Pingping seriously and said, I'm sorry, third brother. Third brother. Xie Pingping's face turned red in the darkness. This woman must be deliberately deceiving people again. If he believes it, he will be a big fool. Even if the whole family is confused, he won't do it. Xie Pengpeng raised his small fist and let out a proud snort. He looked at Song Mian Mian with the corner of his eye, only to see her bright eyes under the moonlight, which made him inexplicably nervous. Xie Pengpeng. Xie Yuan was not prepared to let go of this matter and said sternly, I don't want to say it again. Xie Pengpeng bit his lower lip and knew it was all Song Mian Mian's scheme. Before, my second brother wouldn't be so cruel to him. He raised his voice and shouted, I'm sorry. Then he turned around and ran into his room. Song Mian Mian. This was not her intention. For a moment, she felt like Su Daji. Until Xia Yuan walked past her without even giving her a glance. Song Mian Mian paused for a moment and immediately followed her up. As she walked to the door, she turned her head to look at Zhu Yuji in the yard and said, Mother, good night. Xie Yuan's room is the only one at home with an oil lamp because he has to study. The warm yellow light was very dim, and Song Mian Mian, who was used to incandescent lamps, was a bit uncomfortable. However, she could only comfort herself with what she had received. There is no other choice. Xie Yuan sat at the desk by the bed, looking at the book with his back facing her. Song Mian Mian sat on the edge of the bed with a worried expression on his face. Anyway, as she was idle, her gaze unconsciously fell on Xie Yuan. It's difficult for Xie Yuan to ignore it. He put down his book and turned his head to look at the person by the bed. A faint thought flashed through his mind, and his words were somewhat resistant. What have you been watching me do? You go to bed first, I'll sleep for a while. He usually goes to Xie Pengpeng's place to sleep, but just now he scolded the third person and said, I'll sleep on the ground later. N.N. Song Mian Mian nodded and breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Can't help but say, so, can I ask you something? Here we go. Xie Yuan let out a thud in his heart, with hidden defenses in his eyes. After a moment of contemplation, he said, Miss Song, I have no intention of you, and I won't touch you. If you want to leave, you can do it any time. He has always had this attitude, but Zhu Yuji never agreed before. But today his mother finally agreed, that's why he said such a thing. Song Mian Mian. Her face turned red and she quickly waved her hand. You misunderstood. I didn't mean to say this. I wanted to take a shower, but I didn't dare go to the kitchen, so I wanted to beg you. There are mice in the kitchen. Xie Yuan was speechless and his ears turned red. Before Song Mian Mian could finish speaking, he quickly stood up and walked towards the door. Before long, he came in carrying a bucket of hot water. Then he turned around and walked out again, call me after you finish washing. Don't forget to close the door. Song Mian Mian had a good idea of the character of the male Leeds family, but the Xie family didn't have a bathtub either. She only had a wooden basin and wiped her body with a towel. I found another set of clothes from the wardrobe and changed them, which was when I breathed a sigh of relief. Hold the wooden basin and open the door to the room. The moonlight outside was clear, casting a layer of light veil over the earth. As soon as she opened the door, she saw Xie Yuan in the yard. Under the moonlight, he also carried a hazy beauty. Song Mian Mian was stunned for a moment. 
Xia Yuan is the male lead, and her appearance goes without saying. She's a bit handsome now. Upon hearing the sound, Xia Yuan turned his head and met his cold eyes. Song Mianmian regained consciousness and said, Well, I've washed it up. You go read a book. She wants to wash her intimate clothes. Just go to the nearby well. Xia Yuan lowered his head and stepped into the room. The temperature of Song Mianmian's bath still seemed to be in the room, causing his cheeks to turn red again. Fortunately, Song Mianmian is not here. When Song Mianmian returned to the room, her movements were particularly agile. Xia Yuan read the book carefully, and she tiptoed to the bedside and lay down. She lay down obediently, glanced at Xia Yuan who was still reading, and then slowly fell asleep with her back to his direction. Not long ago, the sound of cuckoo birds came from outside the window, one after another, endless. This was not the first time he had heard this voice, but Xia Yuan had never felt as restless as he did tonight. He lifted his eyes and looked into the darkness. Turning his head to look at Song Mianmian, who was sleeping soundly in bed, his eyebrows furrowed slightly. Has she really changed? That's the best. But his intentions will not change. Women like Song Mianmian are not the women he wants. At first, his mother took advantage of his absence to bring back a lady for him, but he had never exceeded any distance. Anyway. When Song Mianmian thinks it through, she will leave the Xia family on her own. Song Mianmian rolled over on the bed, sleeping soundly. The next day. Song Mianmian woke up early, but Xia Yuan's figure was no longer in the room. A faint light shone through the window, and the voices of Zhu Yuji and others could be heard in the yard. She yawned, sat up, put on her clothes, and walked out of the room. Raising a brilliant smile, good morning everyone. The lively courtyard suddenly quieted down. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Ease of Relations You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Ease of Relations Zhu Yuji is sweeping the yard, while Xie Zhenzhen and Xie Pengpeng are playing. But because of her words, the bustling yard suddenly quieted down, and both children stared at her with obvious fear in their eyes. Song Mianmian also felt a bit awkward. Her waving hand froze in the air, she chuckled and glanced at the direction of the kitchen. Have we all had breakfast? Why don't I go cook? As soon as I finished speaking, I caught three pairs of skeptical eyes. The expression clearly said. Do you also know? Jokes. Song Mianmian needs to prove herself. Before her travels, she was at least a food blogger, and cooking was not something she could easily do. She rolled up her sleeves and confidently entered the kitchen. Yang Lixia is busy working. There is sweet potato congee on the stove, which gives out a sweet smell. Upon hearing the commotion, he looked up at her and said, It's almost over. Go wait outside. The voice was very cold. Song Mianmian was a bit flirtatious, knowing that it was no wonder Yang Lixia. She cleared her throat and said very naturally, Sister-in-law, I'm here to help. Yang Lixia looked surprised and quickly said, No need. The tone is firm. It's not like rejecting a little cutie who needs help, it's like rejecting a bare child. Song Mianmian. She touched her nose and said, Sister-in-law, I won't cause any trouble. Yang Lixia was even more guarded and shouted outside, Mom, take. Out quickly. She didn't know how to address this person. Zhu Yuji walked in and said, let's go out. Since you want to do something, go and clean the yard. Okay. Song Mianmian agreed and walked out, it seemed that gaining recognition would require a long dot term plan. Looking at her back, Yang Lixia and Zhu Yuji looked at each other. This is not the reaction that Song Mianmian should have, is it? Isn't it that hanging someone has ruined their brain? After a moment, Zhu Yuji said, if she really changes, that would be a good thing for our family. Yang Lixia pursed her lips and remained silent. Song Mianmian is very weak in body, 
perhaps she hasn't done much work before. The courtyard of the Xia family is not small, and there is nothing to sweep except for some dust. Song Mianyan cleaned up and walked up to Xie Jinjin. Just as she was about to squat down, the little girl immediately took a step back, her face filled with fear. Don't be afraid. Song Mianyan gave the little girl a gentle smile and said, Zhen Zhen, it used to be my fault. Don't be angry with me, okay? Xie Zhenzhen's gaze remained timid. Song Mianyan touched in her arms and finally reached out her hand to place it in front of the little girl. What are you doing? At this moment, Yang Lixia's heart-wrenching voice came from behind. Song Mianyan turned his head in surprise and saw that Yang Lixia had already rushed towards her, pushing her away with both hands. Holding Xie Zhenzhen in his arms, he looked disgusted and guarded, Song Mianyan. What else do you want to do to my pastor? It's not surprising that Yang Lixia is angry. Last winter, Song Mianmian deceived Xie Zhenzhen and let the little girl freeze in the snow for an hour. If it weren't for Xie Pengpeng's timely discovery, the little girl might have been gone. Upon hearing the news, Zhu Yuji quickly rushed out and frowned at the scene, what's wrong? Song Mianmian wants to harm Zhenzhen, Yang Lixia said quickly. Mother, do you hurt Chen Zhen? She is your own granddaughter. Zhu Yuji's expression sank. Song Mianyan ignored the pain in her body and struggled to get up from the ground. She quickly waved her hand and said, Mom, sister dot in dot law, I don't have any. I've seen it all, you're still talking nonsense. Yang Lixia looked disgusted and hugged Zhen Zhen tightly in her arms. I know you don't like this family but what are you doing to me? Don't hurt Chen. Sister-in-law, you really misunderstood me. Song Mianyan spread out her palm, with a candy in her palm. I know I've done a lot of wrong things before, and I regret thinking about it now. I just wanted to give this to Zhen Zhen, hoping she won't be angry with me. Yang Lixia pursed her lips and said, Can you have such kindness? At this moment, Kuzhenzhen gently tugged at her sleeve and said, Mom, sugar candy. A splash of saliva flowed from the corner of her mouth. She is three years old, which is the age of gluttony. Despite the hard work of the Xie family, despite their poverty, they still couldn't make ends meet for Xie Yuan, a scholar. Struggling on the line of food and clothing, Kuang Zhenzhen is a girl. Zhu Yuji naturally cannot bear to spend money on buying her some candy or the like. Song Mianmian, on the other hand, is lazy and likes to eat. In order to keep her quiet, she always gets some delicious food. I always make Xie Zhenzhen so greedy. For this reason, Yang Lixia not only has opinions about Song Mianmian, but also feels that Zhu Yuji is biased, but as a daughter dot in dot law, she dare not say it or show it. At this moment, hearing the little girl's words, Yang Lixia felt a moment of sadness and shed tears. She held the pastor tightly in her arms. All right. Zhu Yuji couldn't help but say, cry and cry. What are you crying for? The early morning morning, your father and I haven't died yet. Yang Lixia's crying suddenly stopped. Song Mianmian is also a bit awkward. All of this seemed to have started with her. She stuffed candy into the hands of the pastor and comforted the little girl who was crying with her mother. Pastor, be good, don't cry. Auntie will give candy, she said Jen Jen's face lit up with joy. Although she really wanted to eat this candy, she still handed it to Yang Lixia's mouth and said, Mom, eat the candy. Song Mian Mian hurriedly continued to pick it up in her arms, also, I have it, Zhen Zhen also eats it. After stuffing another one for the little girl, she ran to Zhu Yuji's side and offered one as if offering a treasure, Mom, eat it too. Zhu Yuji's face softened a bit, and she couldn't help but say, What's my old lady doing with this? You can eat it yourself. You. Wishing the jade branches a brilliant song. But Song Mian Mian took advantage of her speech and directly put a candy into her mouth. She held on to Zhu Yuji's arm and said coquettishly, Mom, you're not old. You're peerless, 
and even someone would believe that you're my sister. In law's sister, Zhu Yuji. She stared at Song Mianmian, but the honest corner of her lips rose slightly. The slight sweetness that came from my mouth seemed to have been sweet all the way to my heart. As soon as Xia Pengpeng came out of the room, he heard such words and immediately looked at Song Mianmian with even more guarded eyes. Sure enough, she must be a fairy, and she would give people enchanting soup. He immediately poured cold water on Zhu Yuji and said, Mom, Song. She lied to you, you're not like sister. In law's sister. You're much older than sister. In law. Song Mianmian gave a sympathetic look. Good guy. Accurately hit every woman's minefield. At a young age, straight men have such excellent skills. Even Yang Lixia couldn't help but laugh. As expected, Zhu Yuji's face suddenly darkened as she looked at Xia Pengpeng with a murderous intent in her eyes. I'm getting old now. I'm not worried about you, you little brat. Are you here to blame me for being old? Don't have breakfast today. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Her Craftsmanship You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Her Craftsmanship at Breakfast Time Wishing Yuji and the four of them a meal, Xia Pengpeng squatted in the corner, his eyes full of resentment falling on Song Mianmian. That expression seemed to say, It's all her fault. Yang Lixia couldn't bear it a bit. She didn't expect her mother. In. Law to keep her promise and not let her uncle have breakfast. After dinner, Zhu Yuji stood up and said, I'm going to deliver breakfast to your father. She and Yang Lixia are also going to work in the fields, and it's spring plowing now, so they are very busy. No one called Song Mianmian, even Xie Zhenzhen was watched by Xie Pengpeng. As soon as Zhu Yuji left, Xie Pengpeng came to the table and quickly ate breakfast. Song Mianmian couldn't do farm work, but she was good at washing dishes. After she finished tidying up, she saw Xie Pengpeng and Xie Zhenzhen sitting at the kitchen door, their eyes burning as they looked at her. Song Mianmian. She instinctively touched her face and said, Do I have any flowers on my face? Xia Pengpeng snorted with a proud expression, Even if they are all confused by you, I won't do it. After speaking, he took Xie Zhenzhen's hand and walked out. Song Mianmian. Naive ghost. What she is doing now is simply hoping for a better life in the future. Song Mianmian put in a lot of effort to tidy up the entire kitchen. Although Zhu Yuji and Yang Lixia are both clean people, the work in the field is really busy. The kitchen was clean and tidy, and she happily tidied up the room where she and Xie Yuan lived. There is almost nothing to tidy up, although the furniture is old and the interior is simple, it is indeed clean. She tidied up the wardrobe, and the result of Song Mianmian's laziness was that she still had a few good clothes. Busy all morning, watching the sun rise. Song Mianmian entered the kitchen again, unable to make Zhu Yuji and others work hard and return home to cook. Song Mianmian dug out some rice, boiled it, and then put a few washed sweet potatoes on top. There is no food at home. Song Mianmian takes a handful of pickled Chinese cabbage from the pickled Chinese cabbage jar, grabs some eggs from the cabinet, and makes a scrambled egg with pickled Chinese cabbage. The aroma is extremely rich and tempting, making one's fingers skip a beat when smelling it. Song Mianmian was busy living when she saw two heads peeking in at the door and saying, All right, you're secretly eating eggs alone. What's stealing? This is also my home, Song Mianmian said confidently. Besides, I'm making it for my family to eat. Dad and Mom work so hard, don't you want them to eat something good? Xia Pengpeng hesitated as his mother said that the eggs were going to be sold. Song Mianmian washed the vegetable seedlings from the corner of the yard and made a simple vegetable leaf soup. Fresh and tender, but with almost no oil or water. There's no way, this is the only condition at home. As soon as she finished, she saw Zhu Yuji hurriedly walking in from the door. The smell in the air made her nose twitch, what smell? Mom, you can eat now, Song Mianmian said with a smile. 
Zhu Yuji. She glanced at the dishes on the table and said, Did you make them? Oh my god, how many eggs and how much oil did you use? Zhu Yuji felt extremely heartbroken. Why are you? She wants to curse at her mother. Can you imagine Song Mianmian's bad temper, swallowing back the words that came to her mouth, but her face was full of disapproval. Song Mianmian took her arm and said, Mom, I also feel sorry for the hard work you have with your father. Don't worry, your husband will definitely make a living, and I will work hard to earn money to ensure that you live a good life. Zhu Yuji She couldn't catch a breath and almost died of anger. Mom, I've done everything. Can you try it? Her eyes were filled with anticipation. The fragrance was tempting, and Zhu Yuji honestly swallowed her saliva and said with a stern face, Forget it this time, but don't do it again next time. She thought, Turn around and lock up the eggs and rice oil to prevent this spendthrift from seeing them. After everyone in the Xia family ate something, their eyes lit up, as if they had never eaten anything in several lifetimes. The time has come. Song Mianmian stood up and took a small bowl, placing it in front of Xie Zhenzhen. But it's a bowl of egg custard. Yang Lixia was stunned for a moment, her face showing surprise, and then she looked at Zhu Yuji with some nervousness. Pushing the bowl in the direction of Xie Pengpeng, let's give it to uncle to eat. All right, Zhu Yuji said, what should I do for the third party? Xie Pengpeng is already eight years old, can't he still grab food from a three-year-old girl? And one-third of the bowl of pickled Chinese cabbage scrambled eggs on the table went into Xie Pengpeng's stomach. Thank you mother, thank you siblings. Yang Lixia showed gratitude on her face, and then pushed the egg custard in front of the pastor. After meals. Zhu Yuji once again warned Song Mianmian, don't waste like this again next time. What kind of family are we? We can afford to eat like this, even outsiders have to be poor. Song Mianmian didn't take it seriously at all and nodded repeatedly. Okay, 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 I know now, mom. Zhu Yuji opened her mouth, wondering if she couldn't say that she wouldn't be allowed to cook. Song Mianmian's cooking was indeed better than hers and Li Xia's. Everyone in the family speaks highly of it. In the afternoon, he still had to continue working, while Song Mianmian picked up a small backpack and walked out. Relying on mountains to eat mountains, relying on water to eat water. As a rural food blogger, she knows exactly what will happen on the mountains during this season, and now she's going to search for treasures. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Oral Husband You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Oral Husband Just a few steps away, Xie Pengpeng's voice came from behind, Where are you going? Song Mianmian stopped and turned his eyes to chuckle at him, I'll go to the mountains and find something delicious for you. Don't you know? There are wolves in the mountains recently. Xie Pengpeng looked at her with suspicion in his eyes, and his gaze clearly said, Look, I see through your true face. Is there a wolf? Song Mianmian immediately retreated and thought for a moment before asking another question, Third brother, can you catch fish? That's for sure. Xie Pengpeng had a proud expression on his face, but as soon as he finished speaking, he showed a regretful expression, as if he had been corrupted by such words. Song Mianmian immediately put down her backpack and walked to Xie Pengpeng's side. Can you teach me? As he was about to refuse, Song Mianmian punched seven inches. Actually, I'm not for myself. You know how hard your second brother works in school. I want to go catch a fish and cook him fish soup to make up for it. Isn't it pretending to be pitiful? She doesn't even need to lay the groundwork, she just appears in her true colors. She inexplicably slipped into the book, she was already pitiful enough. Xie Pengpeng's face showed hesitation. And there are also parents who work very hard. Xie Pengpeng was skeptical, can you have such kindness? His expression struggled slightly, and Song Mianmian added another spark. Do you think the food I cooked is not delicious? She seemed to hear the sound of Xie Pengpeng swallowing saliva. 
Well, I'm not helping you. Mmm hmm. Song Yin Yin nodded repeatedly, third brother, you're definitely not helping me. You're all doing it for your parents. Xia Pengpeng. His face showed a suspicious blush, and he turned around to the house to get a bamboo basket. He could catch fish. Qing Shan village is surrounded by mountains and water, and many people in the village have access to water. Upon seeing this, Song Yin Yin quickly went to the kitchen to pick up a small wooden basin for washing vegetables, and then said to Xie Xinjin, Xinjin, let's go and see uncle catching fish. She knows everything else, but swimming is really not good. By the river. Xia Pengpeng plunged into the water with a fierce sun, while Song Yin Yin and Jin sat under a tree by the river. She stared at the movement on the water and was certain that Xia Pengpeng was not in danger. Not for a while. Water splashed everywhere on the surface of the water, and Xia Pengpeng poked his head out, holding a fish in his hand. Although he didn't speak, his slightly upturned lips clearly had a hint of pride. Song Yinyin was very supportive and applauded directly, third brother, that's great. Xia Pengpeng. This woman is really flamboyant. His face turned even redder under the sunlight. Zhen Zhen also applauded along, and although the small slaps were slow, they were also very loud. This is a grass carp, weighing about four pounds. Song Yin Yin was very satisfied and waved his hand, saying directly, let's go home. She is preparing to cook fish soup and then make fish balls. Song Yin Yin was holding a wooden basin in one hand, while the other was still holding a delicate little hand. Xia Pengpeng was hanging out not far away. Returning home, Song Yin Yin crudely killed the fish, removed scales, sliced the fish, and skillfully chopped it into mud, adding various seasonings, and then made it into balls. Fish and meat Q shells have a tempting aroma when smelled. After she finished her work, it was almost time to cook dinner. I cooked a fish ball soup tonight. The workers haven't returned yet and the two little greedy cats from the Xia family are already exploring outside the kitchen door. I steamed rice in the evening and stir-fried a green vegetable. As soon as the Xia family arrived home, they smelled the strong aroma in the air. Zhu Yuji couldn't help but wonder, what did her useless daughter dot in dot law lose again? But she had never smelled such a fragrance before. Mother. Song Yin walked out of the kitchen excitedly, and his excited voice came to an abrupt end when he saw the person leading the way. The smile on his face froze for a moment, and he quickly stepped forward with a sweet voice, Husband, you're back. Xia Yuan. How did he see a big, fake, character on this woman's face? Mother. As expected, the next second Song Mian Mian walked over from Xia Yuan's side and said, I made fish balls today. Can you taste them and see if you like them? After a busy day, when she returned home, she could enjoy delicious food. Hearing such kind words, Zhu Yuji's eyebrows and eyes immediately relaxed. But he still looked at Song Mian Mian angrily and said, Don't waste my good things again. Although the words do not agree, there is no intention of blaming. Xia Yuan was a bit puzzled, so he went to the school for a day. What exactly happened? Everyone had special expectations for today's dinner. As soon as they sat down, they saw a big bowl filled with white and chubby fish balls, emitting a tempting aroma that made everyone's fingers twitch. What is this? Zhu Yuji took the lead in asking, and everyone in the Xia family looked over, even Xia Yuan glanced at Song Mian Mian. This is fish ball, made from fish meat. Song Mian Mian looked at everyone as if offering a treasure. Try it quickly, both Shen Zhen and San Di are very fond of it. She gave the two little ones food in advance. Xie Pengpeng's face turned red again, but Shen nodded repeatedly, it's delicious. After meals. Zhu Yuji took the initiative to wash the dishes and drove Song Mian Mian away to rest for a while. Today was indeed quite tiring. Song Mian Mian returned to the house and collapsed on the bed. Creak. The door was opened again, and she instinctively sat up. 
the person who walked in was Xie Yuan. Cool eyes swept over her, and Song Mianmian felt a little guilty and nervous. Song Mianmian. His voice carries a hint of doubt. Hmm. Song Mianmian nodded and smiled at him, Husband, what's wrong? Xie Yuan. This woman is disgusting to him, right? But he still swallowed back the words that were on his lips, just thinking it was Song Mianmian's secret. Where did the fish come from? Song Mianmian's expression stiffened, her eyes flickered, and she said, Husband, I have a question for you. Xia Yuan. Ask. You said, can I sell this fish ball? You know, I stay in the village every day, but you come and go to the county town every day. You must know that, right? She only knows the content of the book about this world, but there is no menu listed in the book. Xia Yuan pondered for a moment and said, There is no such thing as fish balls in the county town. Song Mianmian's eyes lit up, it was a huge business opportunity. She didn't feel tired anymore. Husband, I'll go catch fish now and make some fish balls. Tomorrow, I'll go to the county town with you. The matter of making money is simply urgent. She can't wait for a moment. Xia Yuan frowned. But Song Mianmian was eager to give it a try. I'll go find my third brother, and we'll work together. After saying that, she was about to leave. When passing by Xia Yuan's side, his wrist was directly grabbed. Don't look for the third person. After he finished speaking, he turned around and walked out. Song Mianmian she didn't dare not disobey the male lead's words. She looked bitter and seemed to have to think of other ways. Perhaps we can hire someone to catch them in the village. But she is penniless. Otherwise, she could only make a fishing rod. She knows how to do it, but she has to wait for tomorrow no matter what. Song Mianmian was frowning and contemplating her next plan, but soon footsteps came from the door again. But Xia Yuan was by the door, looking at her with a cold expression, the fish is in the basin. End of this chapter Chapter 9 The First Building Under Heaven You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The First Building Under Heaven Song Mianmian was stunned. She could understand every word of this sentence, but why was it connected so that she couldn't understand it? She blinked, her bright eyes burning as she looked at Xia Yuan. I left at the beginning of the hour, Xia Yuan said as he walked straight past her and sat down by the window, reading a book seriously. This made Song Mianmian not dare to disturb and quickly walked out. There was a wooden basin under the eaves, in which there were two swimming grass carp. He truly deserves to be the male lead. Song Mianmian exclaimed in her heart, picked up the wooden basin and walked towards the kitchen. However, facing the pitch-black door opening, she felt a sense of retreat in her heart. She didn't forget that there were mice in the kitchen. After some thought, she turned around and walked towards the direction of the room. Crunching, Song Mianmian pushed open the door and said, Xia Yuan. Ah! Seeing the situation inside the room, Song Mianmian instinctively raised her hand to cover her eyes, and her face turned red at an extremely fast pace. Xia Yuan is changing clothes. Her sturdy wheat colored chest clearly caught her eye, and she never expected to see a man with a thin figure still have chest and abdominal muscles. Xia Yuan is even more serious. He had just gone down the river to catch fish, and his clothes were naturally wet. As soon as he changed clothes, the door was pushed open by Song Mianmian. Get out, he said with a dark expression on his face, oh, oh. Song Mianmian quickly turned around and quickly turned her back. After a while, she tentatively asked, okay, are you okay? Xia Yuan. I have never been so speechless in my life. What's going on? His voice was cold and full of displeasure. Is there a mouse in the kitchen, she asked cautiously, can I light an oil lamp? Otherwise, it would be dark and she wouldn't be able to see it either. Sure. After Xia Yuan finished speaking, he picked up the oil lamp and headed towards the kitchen. 
He placed the lamp in a higher position while sitting with his back to the stove. You can rest assured that I only read books and won't peek, he said, it's okay, Song Mianmian breathed a sigh of relief. It's not a big deal. Upon hearing this, Xia Yuan seemed a bit surprised and looked up at her. Soft-handed, Song Mianmian quickly raised a smile. During this time, Zhu Yuji came over to ask and heard the kitchen jingling, but Xia Yuan only said one word and then went back. It was almost midnight when Song Mianmian finished his busy work. She was very tired, so she took a quick shower and slept on the bed. Song Mianmian was worried about going to the county town, so she woke up very early. When she woke up, Xia Yuan was still asleep. The clear moonlight shone through the window, casting mottled light on Xia Yuan, who was sleeping on the ground. Her mind couldn't help but flash through the scene she had just seen, her cheeks slightly heating up. At this moment, Xia Yuan opened his eyes and his gaze fell precisely in the direction of Song Mianmian. For an instant, he looked at each other and Song Mianmian quickly moved away, missing two beats of his heart. Nervous, embarrassed, feeling guilty there was a commotion on the ground, and Xia Yuan stood up with a cold voice. Get up and tidy up, he said Song Mianmian. Oh. She flipped over and sat up, putting away all her beautiful thoughts, quickly tidying up and finishing her toiletries. The two elders in the family have already risen, and Song Mianmian greeted Zhu Yuji. With Xia Yuan by his side, he naturally wouldn't be embarrassed. Song Mianmian carried a basket with fish balls inside. I'll do it. As soon as he took two steps, Xia Yuan looked at her and said in a deep voice. No need, no need. Song Mianmian waved his hand, but before he could finish speaking, Xia Yuan had already grabbed the basket and directly took it off her body. With extremely skilled movements on his back, he walked towards the direction of Qingshan County. When the sky finally brightens, the two of them arrive at the county town. The largest restaurant in Qingshan County is called the first tower in the world, he said as he walked forward. Xia Yuan. Song Mianmian quickly called out to him, and the man stopped and said, Give me the basket, I'll go by myself. She has a serious expression on her face. But it's not because of guarding against Xia Yuan, but because she remembers the rule in this novel that readers are not allowed to engage in business. If you go into business, it will affect your career. She didn't explain, acting as if she was on guard against Xia Yuan. Xia Yuan slightly lowered his jaw and returned the basket to Song Mianmian. Then he walked towards the direction of the academy without looking back. Song Mianmian inquired about the location and walked towards the direction of the first floor in the world. The first floor in the world has a strong aura, but the card face can definitely support this name, especially the five big characters of Dragon and Phoenix dancing on the door. Song Mianmian looked up and walked in. My guest, please come inside. The waiter smiled very politely, even though Song Mianmian was carrying a large backpack. But she wore a dress made of 80% new light green cotton fabric, dressed cleanly and with a great temperament. Sir, what would you like to eat? Although the first floor of the world opened early, there were not many guests at the moment, and the hall was clean and bright but empty. Song Mianmian smiled at the waiter and politely said, Brother, could you please introduce your shopkeeper? The waiter's expression changed slightly as he scanned Song Mianmian up and down. Miss, I don't know why you came to see our shopkeeper, he said Song Mianmian suddenly understood that there were many people looking for the shopkeeper every day. She said, there's a big deal. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Making Money. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Making Money The waiter chuckled, but remained unmoved. After a pause, he said, Okay, girl, I'll help you tell our shopkeeper. After speaking, the waiter turned around and walked towards the inside of the building. After a while, a very kind middle-aged man wearing a brocade robe walked out from inside. Perhaps he heard the waiter's words and his eyes fell on Song Mianmian. The shopkeeper. 
Song Nian Nian stood up and said, Can I borrow the kitchen? The shopkeeper reached out and made a gesture of invitation, Miss, please. Song Nian had a long jaw and followed closely behind, entering the kitchen. The shopkeeper had long been experienced and led her to a small kitchen. Song Nian Nian took out the fish balls she had prepared last night and cooked the soup. This is very simple to do, but the aroma is clear and rich, and it smells very delicious. The white and plump fish balls float in the soup, making one's fingers skip a beat. Song Nian Nian left the kitchen holding fish balls, and even the kitchen in the building smelled the fragrance, looking eagerly at the bowl in her hand. It's really fragrant. The shopkeeper's face showed surprise, and he scooped up one with a spoon. Song Nian Nian smiled and looked at him. He blew and took a gentle bite, although it was still a bit hot, he felt extremely fresh. Arrange a private room, I need to talk to the girl in detail, his eyes lit up, no, no need. Song Nian Nian smiled and refused, no need to be so troublesome, we can talk anywhere. She didn't want to be too eye-dot catching either. The shopkeeper understood and the two sat down in a quiet place. He said, I don't know what the girl thinks. One yuan is equivalent to about one yuan in Chinese currency, and one thousand yuan is equivalent to one or two silver coins. And one pound of fish meat can make about ten fish balls, just now Song Mian Mian made six. She brought about about eighty of them, and she was very clear about them in her heart. Shopkeeper, I heard before I came that you are a kind person. I believe you won't let me suffer a loss. What do you think the price is? The shopkeeper pondered for a moment and said, Miss, if it's a prescription, then it's only fifty tails. If we only sell meatballs, then we'll give one for three one and an additional ten tails. The girl will only give us one as a gift. After speaking, he looked at Song Mian Mian and said, Girl, what do you think? He naturally hopes to sell recipes, after all, the first floor in the world can be found everywhere. If he only buys meatballs, then only Qing Shan County can sell them. The amount of money that can be earned here varies greatly. As a food blogger, Song Mian Mian has a variety of new dishes. After thinking for a moment, she still said, when selling meatballs, just follow the price the shopkeeper says. Cheng. The shopkeeper nodded. I prepared ten tails of silver and two hundred and forty-one, and sent Song Mian Mian out through the back door. With silver in her arms, Song Mian Mian even walked more steadily and steadily. She turned around and went to the market. She bought a few pounds of pork ribs and meat, and calculated it to be 141. She also asked the boss to add some pig blood and water. It smells really strong. Song Nian Nian first went to buy some other ingredients, and then came to pick them up and leave towards Qingshan village. Fortunately, she knows the way. I spent all the change I earned today, seven or eight times a day. I haven't forgotten to buy some snacks for Xie Zhenzhen and Xie Pengpeng. She has just left Qingshan County. A familiar and somewhat nauseating voice came, continuous, continuous. Song Nian Nian quickened her pace, but carrying about ten pounds of things on her back was naturally no match for an empty-handed man. Yang Wangfei quickly caught up, even though he felt the smell was suffocating. He instinctively pinched his nose, but still suppressed his nausea and smiled, Nian Nian, what did you buy today? It must be heavy on your back, I'll help you. As he spoke, he reached out to pick up Song Nian Nian's backpack. Ah! But as soon as she approached, Song Nian Nian stepped on the back of his foot and exerted force, causing Yang Wang to scream uncontrollably. Unfortunately, at this moment, Song Nian Nian still looked at him innocently and said, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yang Wang. This kick is a bit too heavy. He he, he he, it's okay. Yang Wang forced a smile as he would have turned his back if he hadn't benefited from Song Nian Nian. He said he was going to flip through Song Mian's backpack. Song Mian Mian didn't stop, instead her eyes were filled with teasing. Ouch! As soon as Yang Wang lifted the layer of cloth covering the basket, 
he could clearly see the pig droppings placed at the top of the basket. The strong odor was as if he had found a breakthrough and directed it straight towards his face. He immediately nauseous and his expression was like eating shit. What's this, what's this? His voice changed, and the gentleness he pretended to be couldn't be sustained. He couldn't imagine that Song Nianmian could be related to such a filthy thing. Quickly retreating and keeping a distance from Song Nianmian, what are you doing with this in your backpack? Are you intentionally disgusting to me? Song Nianmian sneered, did I make you flip through it? Yang Wan. He was so nauseous that the sweet words that were supposed to be on his lips couldn't be spoken out when he smelled the stench in the air. Song Nianmian is a flower in Qingshan village. It was destroyed by the pig in the water like this. Unfortunately, Song Nianmian quickly changed her face and said, Didn't you say you would treat me well before? Why don't you help me carry it? Yang Wang's face changed drastically and he quickly stopped. Mian Mian, I suddenly remembered that I have something very important to do. I need to go back to the county town. This way, you can go to the village first, and I will come after you later. After speaking, he turned around and left as if fleeing, without any intention of staying. Ha ha. Song Mianmian sneered as she looked at his back, looking cute. By the time Song Mianmian returned to Qingshan village alone, it was almost noon, and she could still make lunch with her quick and agile movements. From afar, she saw two children sitting under the eaves of the Xie family. Seeing her, Xie Pengpeng stood up with a somewhat complicated expression mixed with a hint of shame. He opened his mouth just as he was about to speak, and Song Mianmian had already said to his master, What are you doing sitting outside? It's all insects, what if you bite a pastor? Xie Pengpeng Say a fart apology. What did you carry? He shouted the next moment, and Song Mianmian came with a foul smell. He quickly covered his nose, picked up Xie Jinjin with one hand, and stepped back. Song Mianmian can certainly smell the stench. She couldn't bear to think of the delicious food after cooking, it's delicious. Xie Pengpeng's face was full of doubt, and his expression was like saying, you think I'm stupid. Song Mianmian put the basket under the eaves and put the water in the vegetable pot with leaves. Then she took out the dim sum wrapped in oil paper. Here, I bought you snacks, but I can only eat a little. I'll cook right away. It was too late to clean the pig water, but she bought pork belly and could make a braised pork belly. Xia Pengpeng looked at the oiled paper bag with a complex expression and let out a soft snort. He wouldn't believe Song Mianmian for her small favor. The next second, Xie Zhenzhen gently tugged at his sleeve, and the little girl looked at him eagerly, sugar, sugar. Xie Pengpeng. What's your name Xie Zhenzhen? Just call yourself Xie Tang Tang. End of this chapter.